What's up everyone, it's Lens Addict here. Today I'm going to be comparing the iPad Pro 2021 with the XDR display versus the iPad Pro 2020 without XDR display. So let's get into it. I'm filming this video on an iPhone with uh, HDR filming enabled. So you might be able to see the differences if you have a HDR screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm tapping on the iPad on my screen and I'm dropping down the brightness and I might just uh, get this video back to the start as it don't want it auto playing something else uh, and you can maybe see a difference potentially on the displays here what I'll do is I'll dump down the brightness so it's a bit more obvious so as you can see the the iPad Pro has got a much the new iPad Pro has got a much brighter screen so what we'll also do is we'll exit out of this and we'll go view well, this is actually a good test as well, because you can see the difference here as well, how much brighter this goes here. In real life, this is really much, much, much brighter in the bright section there. Um, so what we'll also do is we'll search up HDR test video. As you can see, my recommendations. <laughs> so we'll search for HDR test pattern on this one and we'll search for HDR test pattern on this one and actually let's just watch a normal this video oh I love this jazz video now I'm going to turn off the sound because I don't want to get copy striked sorry the video is very nice but copyright is not nice <laughs> so let's uh, start it playing on both bit hard to sync these up. Let's full screen it. And I'm going to try my hardest to sync these up. Oh. It's about as close as I think I'm going to get. Oh, so you can kind of see, maybe if you have a screen, with a more dynamic range, and you're watching this on a HDR capable device. In real life, this one is so much nicer. This one is so much better. But it might not come across unless you have a HDR display as well. Mind you, this one's still really good. There was one other thing that people were talking about, and that was the blooming. So what I've done is I've actually opened up notes, and I have put a note. So as you can see, the backlight bleed on this one is quite a lot more obvious than this one. And my cat has come, so I will pat it while filming, because I can't interrupt this, because I don't want to edit this video heavily. Yeah, <laughs> you can see the blooming potentially. I don't think it's that big of a deal, because in real life, um, this black looks really black, and the, the phone is making it a lot brighter, but in reality, it looks something more like this and it doesn't, you don't see the blooming. And then on this one, you can kind of see the black, but I do agree with people online saying that there is blooming, there is, but it's not as obvious as the photos make, make it out to be. And you don't normally have them on max brightness, you normally have it like here, and then it's really not obvious. Then there's not really that much blooming in my opinion. But if you, you know, up the brightness heaps, sure, there's some blooming, it, it does exist. You can see blooming, whereas on this one, it's just a uniform blooming everywhere, <laughs> fingerprints. Well, there's my cat. I appreciate you all for watching, uh, and I might use this iPad as a lighting device again. So yeah, I appreciate you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this quick comparison of the screens. And I hope you have a good afternoon. Subscribe if you want to see more. Dislike if you dislike it. Like it if you like it. And I'll see you all next time for another tech video or maybe a camera video or drone video. Who knows? Oh, well. Lens Addict out.